in the way he said do it, glory to God, and not get, get yourself out of there. Get out of the natural, get out of the carnal, get into the spirit thing, and God will show up and he will show out, glory to God. He's done that. God has done that in our life. And I know you can probably recall and relate what God has done that in your life. Oftentimes when things go wrong in our life, I start backing up and I'd like to remind myself of a time when we were really going through and had it real bad. I had to remind myself of a time when I had it bad, but God was there with me. And he, you know, just really worked it out. Not in my mind, said, how we be sitting out there, well, I know God is going to do this. Um, I can just see him doing it. Oh, he's going to do it this way, that way. But no, God shocks you all the time. Because he does things and he brings people to pass, Lord God, that take care of the problem for you. Hallelujah. And who does that today? Who doesn't do that? Because <laughs> he doesn't want you to have anything. The devil wants you beat down. He wants nothing for you. The devil wants you to lose everything you've got. He doesn't want God in your heart. For people who don't love God, say you don't have to bug them too much. Why? Because he put them on reserve. The devil probably I already got them, so I'm not waste my time on them. The time will come when they mind anyway. The devil probably said, they mind. So he said, I'm not wasting time on them. He said, I gotta go get them saints. I got I gotta get them to a place to know this that that God, their servant, he's not gonna show up. They can call him out, he's not coming. See, and when we go through times like that when they feel like it's God. Lord, where are you? I pray to you day, night. Where are you? And Satan likes that. Because he presents himself now. And he makes us think he's God. He did it with Jesus. If you just praise me, I'll give you this. I'll give you that. You can't give anything that you don't own. Glory to God. He tried, he tried to give Jesus Jesus stuff. How many is that? I'm going to give you what belongs to you. Well, the only way I can give it to you is if I steal it first because it doesn't belong to me. Glory to God, it didn't belong to him. But saints to God today, I'm going to kind of close and wind up and just relate this because I know what I'm speaking of. You've heard it many times before. But we oftentimes need to be reminded of who God is and where God is when it seems like we can't get no answer for him. We need to be reminded that he is only a thought away. Glory to God. He's only a prayer away with the right heart. Glory to God. God will do his will if we surrender ours. Mm -hmm. But when God has his hands on something and we still have our hands on it, he's not going to do tough and walk with us. Mm -hmm. No, he's not going to do that. God wants it all or none of it. He gets you going the right direction. And you say, I can take it from here. No, you can't. Because you'll take it right back to the level from whence it came. Glory to God. You'll be in deeper trouble than you were before God got a hold of you. Oftentimes people say, well, as soon as the Lord delivered me, I promise, I'm not going back in that bar. And as soon as God delivered them, they're back in that bar. In the hospital, I've gone and seen people on their deathbed. I'm saying, Lord, I want you. And when I get um, over this illness, I'm going to go out and I'm going to work for you. I'm going to preach the gospel. And as soon as God gets out of the hospital room, they can't hardly wait to get back on the streets. They can't hardly wait to get out there shutting that profanity, uh, that speaking that filthy profanity, and just doing all that. They can't hardly wait. But I want to tell you something. God is a faithful God. He's a merciful God. But there comes a time, and there has been many times, when people have had to just go forth and be punished for things that God had never planned for them to be punished for. And, and, and the day is coming when people are going to inhabit hell, which was not prepared for God created people. That was created a path for the devil and his angels, or anybody who want to follow him and, and, and reject God. That's what hell was prepared for. But yet, a lot of people are choosing to do, do that, to go that route. They are. In Matthew 24, you get time to read them. Let me read the whole one to you. Jesus is, he is talking. I love that red print, that red print right in the blood. And Jesus is saying, I know you said you prophesied in my name. I know you said you cast out demons in my name. 
And you know, he goes on to read that beautiful. But what Jesus, and Jesus is talking to the church, the saints of God. Okay? Here it is. And, and I believe, as the word kind of depicts, judgment is going to start at home. Where it comes from? The church. Who are the church? We are the church. Glory to God. So when I come to the house of the Lord, I, yeah, I say I'm coming to church. Why? Because the people that's coming that's saved, they are the church. So I'm coming to church, not the building. And when I come, I bring the church with me because I'm part of the church. Glory to God. So the church is coming to church. Praise His holy name. And that's the mentality we got to have. I'm coming to the church. <laughs> Because I know she got the word of God. She reads, I'm coming to the church. I'm coming to the church. Because I'm part of the church and I belong to it. And I'm really ready to accept in the church, the real church. Not the church that looks down their nose at you. Not the church that judges you when you walk in the door because of the color of your skin. Or not the church that judges because of you don't have money and they do. No, that's not the church. That's, that, that, that's just like when it's like a mirage. You know how you see water? And it's water, but obviously you're so thirsty, and you see like it's, it's like a shadow of water, but yet you get to it so thirsty, you got, you got nothing. That's what a lot of the churches present. They're like mirages. And when you get to them, all that you've heard on the TV, all that you've heard, you won't find it there. But praise be the name of the Lord. God has blessed the church, and God blesses us through the church. And America has not seen the greatness. They've seen it little, in little bits, you know. We see in part. Glory to God, but there's so much more to come. And leave here today, thanks to God with this thought. God has blessed America. And now I'm America with the bless God. And only that, remember this. Woo! Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Hallelujah. And Psalms 1, good passage of scripture. Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Okay? Or standeth in the way of sinners. Or sitteth in the seat of the scornful. For his law is, ooh, in the, glory to God, is in the law of the Lord doth he meditate day and night at his seat. They shall be like trees planted on the river walk and bringing forth fruit in his season. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That's the blessing God has on his people. But it says the ungodly, they are not so. They are like the chaff with the wind driving the way. And the word goes in to say, so I'm one, now read this good. It says, for, for, for the Lord, he knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Therefore, the ungodly, they're not standing in judgment. Nor sit us in the seat of the righteous. They won't of the congregation. Okay? So here it is. I love it to say to people, don't feel like God has forgotten about us. Life to have you around you. But look at this. God is not going to allow that to come not your dwelling. But he allows things so we can pray. Continue to pray. Seek him. Show the world that even though you say this, I believe the word of God. And I'm not being bent from it. Nothing you'll say will change my mind. Nothing will ever happen will change my lifestyle about it. I'm doing time with Jesus. Glory to God. It's my life. And I'll die believing it. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, I give you praise this morning. And I thank you for your word. Oh, hallelujah. I give you praise because I know that you are the Lord of the truth. Hallelujah. And none, none can stand up against you. Hallelujah. And we are approaching a great day of your returning to get us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to meet every challenge. And help us, Lord, to be a witness in every way, glory to God. According to your will, according to your word. Father God, and let us not back up or bow down to ungodliness. But let us stand firm, hallelujah. Let us stand tall, glory to God. Boldness, glory to God. And let this world know that God does live, hallelujah. Woo, he liveth, glory to God, and he liveth in us. And if they, if any day they say he's dead, tell them, well, if he is, I got a heart beating in me that says he's not. Glory to God. Hallelujah, you can't touch this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord, and ask the people leaving.
can go to their destination's home. Bless them, Lord. Bless them. Hallelujah. We bind up everything negative that the devil may try to say to them or against them. We bind up everything negative that the devil try to do to them. Father, protect them in the name of Jesus from hurt, harm, danger, or whatever. Protect your people as you're faithful to do. And let them know it's you in the name of Jesus. Let them trust you in the name of Jesus. And let them give themselves 100% to you for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. The altars are open. Glory to God. If any feel the need to come. Hallelujah. But praise God. It is it's the time of the Lord that we stand up now and not let the devil get the victory. It's not his, it's ours. And we have the victory in the name of Jesus and the power to. Hallelujah and amen. Amen.